Blues hosting the Penguins. The Penguins are minus 152 on the money line. The Blues are plus 126. The over-under is at 6.5 goals. The Penguins, laying a goal and a half on the puck line, are plus 158, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. While the Blues, getting a goal and a half on the puck line, are minus 192, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one goal, you would win. Now, neither goalie has been confirmed, but it's looking like it's going to be Yari and Binnington. Now, thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets and my stats. Win, lose, or draw, you'll see how I do. Everything's broken down into tabs, and I keep a daily record so everyone can see. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is 6-4. and four. The Penguins are on a five-game winning streak. The Penguins are 7-3 and three against the Blues in their last 10. The favorite is on a six-game winning streak. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying goals is 5-5. Five and five. There have been three one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including two out of the last three that they played against each other. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 6.5 goals is also 5-5. Five and five. They played each other four times last year. And the Penguins won all of those games, 5-3 in Pittsburgh, 3-2 in a shootout in St. Louis, 6-2 in Pittsburgh, 3-2 in overtime in St. Louis. So the two games that they played in St. Louis both went into extra time, and they were both one-goal games. So if that trend continues, I will roll with the Penguins with the money line, the Blues getting the goals, and I will go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.